Hey guys, hi, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, I got a great subject for us today. It's been on my mind for years, and, uh, and recently I just I just thought to myself, you know, I got a little spark. God's always giving me sparks. It's The question is, or the statement is, how as a salesperson to deal with the police, uh, sheriffs, and also dealing with security when you're out there going door to door and business to business. What was the question the guy said? The statement is, how do you deal with the police and security when you're out there selling door to door and business to business? Well, first of all, this is the key to success in this regard. Always be above board, honest. And listen, this is the key also. If you have anything that's in your background that may cause the police to take you to jail because you had some old tickets or you didn't pay for this, you hadn't didn't pay your child support or whatever, you need to go ahead and take care of that stuff because I'm going to tell you what, from personal experience, I've seen people that were salespeople that were knocking on doors get arrested and they were taken to jail. It wasn't because they were knocking on the door or trespassing, it was because they had some things in their past they needed to take care of. So, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you, I'd tell you all things about selling, the good, the bad, and the ugly, everything. And first of all, I'm gonna mention this to you. Those people that take care of us, as far as security is concerned, they are important, and we gotta make sure that when we talk to them, we talk to them with nothing but respect. Because how would you like to have a, a position where you know you've got to guard something or you've got to uh, take care of these people in your community and people act crazy? I don't know. I don't think it would feel too good. And we got to respect those people that deserve the respect. Okay, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I've been in the cells since one former capacity since the 80s. That was a long time. And I've learned a lot of tricks. Now, recently, not too, too long ago, you know, I was knocking on some doors. And I, I'm, I always have two or three sales jobs, guys. That's just the kind of person I am because I'm always working on commission, looking to make money. That's what we do. And I remember, it's been a while ago, but I was knocking on some doors, putting out some information and everything with a big old smile on my face because I'm that kind of guy. Next thing I know, I see a bunch of police. And they were really excited to see me too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They, they kind of scared me because, see, I wear a badge around my neck. I'm one of these kind of people that's always, you know, had people train me the right way because you want to look the part and you want to make sure that you carry your identification with you just in case you got to show your identification. In some states, you got to have a, a license and you got to have all kinds of paperwork to be safe when you're going business to business and also you know, from home to home selling. It's just the, the key to success. And you got to be careful too, because see, if you got uh, nosy neighbors, them some good people, you want them. You know, I got robbed not too, too long ago and they stole all my cool stuff. I got a policeman that lives right next door. And you know what, they didn't even care. But if I would have had some kind of, uh, you know, community people watching my house and so forth, I may not have been robbed. Not to say it won't happen, but stuff happens. And I'm just being quite honest with you guys. This is the reality. When you deal with the police or you deal with the sheriff, you got to remember, you don't run. <laughs> if they say, what are you doing? Don't run. And always be polite. You know, because I'm going to tell you what, when they talked to me, they were really nice. They were they were asking me questions about what I was doing in the area. They said they had some people, you know, that that saw me going door to door and they didn't know what I was doing. This was like some really nice neighborhoods. And you probably go business to business in really nice neighborhoods. And you don't want to be this kind of person because I always wave at the house, even if they ain't nobody there. Because the people from behind you, they don't know if they see somebody in there, but I do it anyway. I got that, that tidbit a long time ago when I first got into sales. Because, see, people are more inclined to talk to friendly people than they are to, to rude people. Okay? And sometimes when you're knocking on their door, they don't want to even talk to you. Because, see, they've had bad experiences. And listen, when you're dealing with the police, you got to remember this, guys. They're there to protect and serve. We don't have the right to argue with them, 
we have to be pertinent, we have to be right on. And you know, what happened with these police and these things, with my own personal experience, these people were real nice. They checked out my background real quick, man. They kept me for like 30 minutes or so. Asked for my, li my license and my information. You know, they were putting me in the bureau to find out if there was anything wrong with me. And by the grace of God, you know, I'm one of these honest people. I ain't saying I've always done things right, because I ain't. No self-righteous person here. But when they did that, I got a little scared, you know, thinking, dang, maybe there's something in there. I don't know. But I've got a lot of licenses and stuff like that, and they check your background real good. And a lot of these good companies will check your background. But if you got some, if you're a shifty character and you're knocking on doors and somebody says something, you might go to jail. And do yourself a favor, guys. Don't be looking through people's windows when you're out there selling. You got to be real careful because you don't know who's watching you and you can get in trouble <laughs> real quick because people got phones. They will videotape your ass. I mean it. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I told you, I'll tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and all the rewards and everything about selling. You know, how do you deal with the sheriff and security? Remember, they're there for a purpose, to protect and to make sure stuff don't get stole. They don't know you. They have no idea. We're salespeople, so we gotta be polite. And sometimes you gotta be a little a little bit like a dancer. And listen, don't lie to the cops. Hoo -hoo, don't lie, don't lie, and not even to the security. Cause the security will call the law. And people in the neighborhood, if they have neighborhood watch, will call the law too. And I remember when they buzzed up on me, they scared me to death. But then I had to reflect on that. What I wanted to do that in case somebody was breaking into my house. Well, there wasn't nobody there at the time that my house got broken into. But I respect those customers and those clients and those people in those communities. They don't know you to call the law if they feel as though something's wrong. That's a good thing. You know, <laughs> you know, it's funny. You know, I've been in sales for a while now. And I really love the good, the bad, and all of it. I tell you that all the time. But I had to talk about this because it's been in my heart for a while. You know, I didn't know how to share this because I didn't want to offend my police brothers and sisters. I didn't want to, you know, upset my security people, people that I run into. You know, I love you guys. I know you worked hard. And be very careful. Be safe out there because you do matter. And most salespeople, we, we just want to have a good life. We work on commission, so we want to knock on doors. Talk to customers with respect. And remember, guys, when you're out there, don't you disrespect those customers because if you do, if you say something really nasty under your breath, they call the popo. They will call the police, and they'll say you were offensive. You were trying. And, the, the, and if it says no trespassing and they call on you, well, you better be nice. <laughs> I ain't trying to say disrespectful. Listen, I was brought up, you know, in my life, my mama taught me to do the right things. I ain't going to say I've always done the right thing. Thank you, mama. And, you know, I believe in God. That's my whole thing in my life. And I believe that, hey, listen, if I do the right thing, you know, God's going to always bless me. I ain't saying to go look to do good things. It just normally happens because you become a good person. I ain't perfect, okay? Don't get me wrong. But I do like everything about selling. So I thought I'd share this with you. you know, my, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. And how do you deal with security and the police, the popo, some people call them? Just reflect. How would you like to be treated? How would you like to be treated? So give that courtesy back to those people that are protecting and serving. I ain't saying it's easy because you get scared. And if you got some papers on you and you got something in your background, get it taken care of, guys. Because salespeople, we need you. We're, we're important and we matter. We make the world go around. And if you're out there trying to sell something, you want to be secure in knowing that, dang, if I knock on the door and the police come, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Doesn't that make sense? And if security comes out, of it, don't look at security as being, you know, second rate police officers or anything like that. These people, they work probably for minimum wage or, or a little bit more. And they just are there to make sure that if something goes down, they be out to phone a call. That's what they do. They don't go around carrying guns unless they got guns to carry. And you don't never know. So just do yourself a favor. If you get somebody, a cop rolls up on you, security rolls up on you, give them a smile, take a deep breath, and say, damn, okay, I'm glad I ain't got nothing wrong with my background. And listen, if they do arrest you, you know, don't give up on sales. 
get that taken care of because they are out there, the police, sheriffs, and all these people that are out there to protect and serve are out there for a reason. You know, get, if you get arrested, you have to go through the process, you know, your company, call them, you know, as soon as you can, especially if you ain't got nothing wrong, because sometimes we do fall through the cracks and they will arrest you sometimes. But most of the time, like I said, when I've had police officers pull up on me, I ain't disrespectful. Most of them are pretty daggone nice. And if they ain't, I'm going to act real nice anyway, because I'm a salesman. <laughs> I'm going to put on my happy face. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, I mean, I know how to act. You know, we all have to remember security, safety, people's homes, people's businesses. We got people doing crazy things, bang, bangs out there, man. They don't know you. You got a, a woman by herself. You got kids by themselves during the day. People, they don't know. So give yourself a positive attitude and listen, go out there and sell something. And if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. That's just my favorite mantra in this regard. And listen, when you deal, our question for today is how do you deal as selling? How do you deal with police and security? You just got your answer. You just treat them with gold. And most likely, if you ain't stupid and you ain't done nothing wrong, they're going to let you go with a warning. But that's okay. It's a warning. It's better than being in jail. Put them hammy cups on you. Put them, put you in the back of the paddy wagon. Damn, that's kind of scary. So go out there and sell something. And remember, you're important and you matter. Treat the police and security with the respect, and they'll respect you too. Hmm, respect, security, police, safety. Knocking door to door, business to business. Day, I'm good. Have a nice day. Go out there and sell something. Bye-bye.